What's up, everyone? What's up, social media? Welcome to another podcast. This is Hassan Shabazz, for those who don't know. Our podcast today is dealing with Napoleon Hill's 16 Principles of Success. We have worked our way up to number 13, Adversity and Defeat. And this is a very important principle for anyone who's looking to be successful in any field or any endeavor to comprehend and to master. Because we're always going to have adversity. There are going to always be times when we feel like everything is going against us. There are going to be times when we're oppressed. And then there are, go- there are times when we feel defeated. So mastering this principle, adversity and defeat is essential for success in any endeavor in any walk of life. Napoleon Hill, for those who are not aware, is one of the most respected success gurus in the history of um, the the, the, uh, prosperity and success movement, right along with Wallace Wallace and many others. In fact, Bob, Bob Proctor studied Napoleon Hill and is still studying Napoleon Hill, has been studying studying Napoleon Hill for over 50 years. Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Go Rich, along with his book, The Law of Success, and along with Wallace Wallace's book, The Science of Getting Rich. Those are books that are essential to fast track you on your road to success. So we encourage you to go back and read Napoleon Hill's book if you haven't read it. Read Wallace Wallace's Science of Getting Rich if you haven't read it. Study uh, Norman Vincent Peale. Study some of um, W. Clement Stone and look at the secret. Most of the information that comes from the secret is information that was put out through those venues. But what they're calling the secret is really not a secret. You just have to look for it because the information is in the Bible. The keys of success are in the Bible, it's in the whole of the Quran, it's in the Vedas, it's in all of the scriptures. So, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Let's look at principle number 13, adversity and defeat. According to Napoleon Hill, every adversity you meet carries with it a seed of equivalent or greater benefit. Realize this statement and believe in it. Close the door of your mind on all the failures and circumstances of your past so your mind can operate in a positive mental attitude. PMA, positive mental attitude. Every problem has a solution, only you have to find it. If you will develop an I don't believe in defeat attitude, you will learn that there is no such thing as defeat until you accept it as such. If you can look at problems as temporary setbacks and stepping stones to success, you will come to believe that the only limitations you have are the ones in your mind. Remember, every defeat, every disappointment, and every adversity carries with it the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. So that is Napoleon Hill's statement on Adversity and defeat. Now let's look further at a quote from Waldorf Emerson. Waldorf Emerson said, Our strength grows out of our weakness. Not until we are pricked and stung and sorely shot at awakens the 
indignation which armed itself with secret forces. A great man, and I'm going to paraphrase a great woman also, is always willing to be low, while he or she sits on the cushion of advantages, he or she goes to sleep. When he or she is pushed, tormented, defeated, he or she has a chance to learn something. He or she has been put out on his or her wits, on his or her personhood. He or she has gained facts, learned from his or her ignorance, been cured of the insanity of conceit, has got moderation and real skill. Defeat, however, does not promise the full-blown flower of benefit on the seed from which some benefit may be coaxed. You must recognize the seed, nurture and cultivate it by a definite of purpose. Otherwise, it will never sprout. Nature looks for disfavor on any attempt to obtain something for nothing. You need to thank your faults when they are revealed to you because you cannot truly understand them until you have, until you have fought them. So you have to always realize that everything that you go through is a, is a life lesson. Look at, look at setbacks as, as a life lesson. Try to learn from every failure forward. Failed many times before you got the Model T going. The Wright brothers failed many times before they were able to fly. You can, there's no success without failure. So you have to always be willing to fail, then always get up, get up, get off your feet, get start over again. Adversity and defeat are only a part, only a small part of success. So until next time, we invite you to Check out more videos, more videos on the YouTube channel. Check out the YouTube channel. Uh, listen to the podcast, the podcast, our podcast, Sacred Life Connections podcast, and the new um, The Man Means Mind podcast. Both podcasts can be found at Spotify or any other place that you get your podcast. But where we get your your, your, wherever your favorite place is to get podcasts, you can find the Sacred Life Connection podcast and the Man Means Mind podcast. So often we um, hope that you check out both podcasts. Hope you check out the uh, Sacred Life Connections Health and Wellness YouTube channel and the Man Means Mind YouTube channel. Both YouTube channels try to deal with positive um, messaging that will help you physically, mentally, and spiritually. You, Sacred Life Connections deals with uh, health, your physical health, what you eat, what you put in your body, your emotional health, how you think about what uh, food, how you think about relationships, etc. And the man in mind deals with success, prosperity. So check out both channels. Both all of that is necessary to be an optimal, healthy human being. So we're going to leave you with, uh, with that. That's all we have for you today. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next video or the next podcast.